That's only natural that to me and to uh, to miss home because that's where I was raised, you know. That's where. But um, you know, this, this is just a different environment, and it's just some, uh, what I've got to get used to. Coach told me to go uh, pick up this guy from England, and he had dreads. So I was expecting some guy with you know rasta dreads, you know, <laughs> four feet long. And <laughs> when I saw him, he just had these little baby dreads. So you know. It was, interesting first impression but uh, you know came to the gym he worked hard you know so we got along great I can relate to, to how he's feeling uh, being away from home because I was away from home for nine months straight you know and some days you just get down you just, you just think yeah I, I want to go home but then you have to think you know why are you doing this you know uh, and I guess that the answer lies within you know if, if you want to go home then you really don't want to be world champ you know so you just got to stay focused on the goal. Well, I, right away, you know, I sat down with him and I said, look, what do you want, you know? And he said, I want to become world's champion. And I said, fine, okay, then that's what I want for you. And I said, but you know that I'm the boss here and it's got to be my way. You know, there's two ways of doing things here. It's either the wrong way or my way. So, and he said, no problem. Boxing affords a person, a black person, an opportunity to provide for himself and for his family and his loved ones. It's, it's an opportunity to make a lot of money and to make it quick. There are certain opportunities and, and, and advantages for whites that blacks don't have and will never have, you know. Uh, there are some people who say, well, things are better now than they've ever been. I don't think so. I think things have just been sugar-coated and disguised. But uh, things, I think, are worse now than ever. It just means that we have to tread a little lightly. We have to work a little harder and uh, to stay on a straight and narrow path a little bit more. We don't have the opportunities to make mistakes. If I plan to keep my, uh, my future and my career over in the USA, you know, I've got to start getting used to it from as from now. Rain showers on Saturday with a high in the 40s. Currently raining lightly in the flagship city. That is lookout weather. Raindrops are falling on my head. And just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed, nothing seems to fit those. I spoke to Pat about two and a half weeks ago. And he sounded really good. He, his weight was down to his, to his best fighting weight of just 10 stone. And he sounded great. Tomorrow with a chance of snow, high of Unfortunately, you know, everything's gone wrong for him. His money's gone, he, you know, he's, he's in quite a, a bit of debt and what have you. This is, this is the only way out for him, coming here. There's no promoters at the moment that are interested in Pat Barrett in England. If he makes it, if he makes a success of it over here, this is the hardest place in the world to make it. If he can make it here, they'll all be interested in him. But he's got to realise that if he wants to get anything out of life, this is the only way he's going to do it. This is the most important fight of his career. If he doesn't beat this fella and beat him convincingly, I mean convincingly, uh, he might as well come home. He has to annihilate this fella. He has to absolutely annihilate him. Brian's guided my career as a trainer and as a friend. 
he's, he's helped me and he's done a lot but see some decisions i gotta make by myself if i go if i go ahead in life with letting other people make my decisions then you know it's it's, it's pointless i've got to be able to make my decisions for myself i mean i've been here for two months now and i've not been to a single club i've not spoke to a single person apart from sid i mean all i've done is I've been to the gym, I've trained, I've trained, and that's all I've possibly done. Everything's boxing over here, it, well, where I am at the camp. You see, this is like, um, it's kind of like a rehab. I've, I've come here to rehabilitate myself in the boxing game. Now back in the days I lived a carefree lifestyle well, as long as we wasn't caught Being bad was cool and we was never at a loss for something to get When he won the championship, I still thought this was the same lad that I known like four or five years before and it was obvious that the more success he got the more uh, headlines he got in the papers and the more he was on television and what have you that he was beginning to change it's the last throw of the dice for him that's how serious it is for Pat it's a shame because the parasites that have latched onto him and pulled him down they won't be around when he's got no money he won't be around when he's he's bitter and he says he won't become bitter but I know he will because I've I've seen other boxers that's gone like him. The hardest thing really is like giving all this up now because I think once you grow into a routine of going out all the time and partying you something you get used to and that's the hardest thing is to give it all up. But um, I'm gonna have to do it. I mean they've tried to prosecute me before on several charges, on several offences and um, I've had nine months suspended sentence. I mean, if I get in trouble within that nine months um, and I ever get sent down, I'll also get that time added on as well. Because if I stay here, uh, I mean, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, obviously it's not going to be for the best, it's more or less going to be for the worst. Well, he's lost his last two fights. One was a British uh, Walterweight Championship fight and the other one was a World Boxing Federation light middleweight championship fight. He should have won the two, but he wasn't in condition. I mean to be honest with you, and I will be quite honest, I don't want to go. I'm going to, I'm going over to America to seek myself and to see yeah, if I can actually do it. I want to know myself if I can do it. Yeah, and then if I can then I'll stay. He doesn't want to go, but he knows in his subconsciousness that if he doesn't go and find himself, he'll never ever have the opportunity to see if he could have won a world title or if he could get back to the top again. The best thing that could happen is that when I go over to America to see him, that I'm finding him in tip-top condition, mentally and physically. Putting all these distractions behind him. The worst thing that can happen, and deep down inside me it tells me that it might very well happen, is that after three weeks or so, four weeks out there, he gets a phone call off one of these tow rags that something's happened over here and they need him back and he comes back home. Right. Yeah, we'll be over in a month. Well, then, then. I'm leaving everything behind, I'm leaving my daughter behind. I'm just leaving everything behind. Say bye. Bye. Right, right, That's not for the nice shake on that one. <laughs> He's going out there with a bloke called John Davenport, a real disciplinarian, and a, a, a coach that coached Lennox Lewis up to about three or four fights ago. If it didn't go well for him, I would advise him to retire. I'm, I'm going to be successful in America. I'm definitely going to be successful. I'm not going to be a bum. I'm, I'm definitely going to do over there. When his, when his mother died, that's where Pat downfall came from. 
with it or with his boxing. Because if his mother's not around to prove to her that, you know, this is me, I'm your son, I'm gonna, you know, win some money and buy a house and set you up. That's where the downfall was. When she died, I think that's where Pat started slip and slide. I think Pat get in, into this group of people for, for them to respect him. He would like to think that his daughter know that he's in that, or he's in that, or he's in that. You know, he like to know that she, she knows all the good things that happens to him. My father was a world champion, not my father was a dead leg or a down and out or a gangster or whatever. People try to give him positive advice, but it's up to him now to do it over there and not come back to England if he's got any sense at all. <laughs>